Good morning everyone, it's Rachel here and we are doing Roxy's Weekly Challenge. Now I have a very big book here um, and I wanted to make, I know we've done the little ephemera holders, but I wanted to make a bigger one, um, a bit like what, what, Wanette made um, from Wanette's Crafty Corner. So let me tell you how big my book is. And this is going to be for, instead of having this pouch that I have to rifle through all of these bits and pieces I want to put them in a big book because I actually find them to be really really useful um, that you I've got I'll show you that afterwards not in this video because it'll be a two-parter um, first we're going to construct it and then we will um, start I'll show you how I'm going to sort of lay out the the pockets I'll use a mix of different sizes I bought some bigger ones and um, and then Maybe in another video we'll do something to the cover because it's a pretty plain cover. So my book is approximately, um, it's pretty big. Um, in fact, my my scrapbooking pages are not quite big enough, but I'm not going to worry about that. A little over nine inches by, 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 13 inches. So very big. And the spine is very big. Now this spine was a curved spine. It had... Um, it had like some some sort of cardboard there um, that made it curved and I didn't want that because I want to stitch my signatures into the spine because I'll be covering it and I just find that easier. You know, it's less, less messy. Um, what I will do on this one is I will put some, just some, some sort of fabric. So what I, I have, I'm very organized today. So what I've got are a whole lot of scrapbooking pages um, this is Tim Holtz, I don't remember which one, and I've got some Stamperia ones. And as you know, I want to use them up because I don't use them so often. And they are good for these projects though. But I now have a lot of scraps of scrapbooking paper too. So I'll need to um, do something with those. So all I did was put them on the book like this. So I had it out for them like this. And then I just eyeballed it and folded it over about the size, just inside the confines of the book. And I've done... Uh, 15 I'm going to do three um, in each signature um, because I think this book can take five signatures probably could take a few more if I wanted to but we'll see we'll see once I've sort of constructed them properly but obviously the paper is not it's not tall enough but I'm not going to worry about that um, but they're not wide enough so what I did was I measured what I thought I needed and it was I can only give it to you in centimeters because I work in centimeters and so I cut some other ones these are other script book, uh, script booking pages <laughs> scrapbooking pages and they are they I just did 20 centimeters so or was it 22 doesn't matter that's my book your book will be a different size so you've got to work it out so now what I thought I would do is um, I'm going to attach them um, to these ones it's really simple actually I'm just going to get some double-sided tape I might run out of this one so then I'll use a narrower one it doesn't matter um, but I'll use this one until it's I think I've got more as I told you but they're in the cupboard I need to get them out I think I bought a whole bundle um, on Amazon so that will go there and then I put so that's on the edge that I want to um, stick down make sure what well, doesn't really matter because it's for me but you want it to to be um, right way up of course and then so I, I've, this is the edge I'm sticking on here if I were to make a boo, boo and put it on that edge I just I what I did was I folded my pages in so some on that side and some are on that side so I, if I had put my tape on this one I would just glue it onto this one but I put it on that side which is correct and then I'm going to what you need to do which is I highly recommend is get your bone folder and just flatten that makes life easier if it's not swooshing up and then we're going to put this on here and I'm actually pre-recording this video because I'm desperate to, to get them finished and, and put my stuff in and I will make another one if I feel like I need it so then peel off your tape and peel off this one and then what I found I thought oh gosh how am I going to stick these on straight what I found was really easy to do was I'll move the book out of the way in a minute 
was to just try and line them up a bit here and then just flop it down. There we go. It's not perfect, but it will do. It's good enough. It is certainly good enough for me. And there we have a nice big piece. And I've already done one to give it a go. So stamp that Stamperia paper. Isn't it gorgeous? It's really nice paper. I just don't use it as much. So I just wanted to use some of it up instead of having it just sitting there in the drum. And I love this paper. But some of the, some for me, some of the Tim Holtz ones are too grungy for me. So what I'm going to do is I need to stick that one to there. So I'm going to flip it over like this. Turn it around here so I can put my tape on because I need to have it towards me. And you could streamline the process. You could actually... Um, do all of the tape putting and then do all of the sticking, which is quite a good idea actually. I've cut the paper a little bit. And also one thing with tape is just run your nails along it and make sure it's stuck because sometimes it's hard to peel off the, um, the paper if it's not pro done properly. So I'm gonna put... And if there was something here that you didn't want to cover up that amount, then you could put your tape on the other side, but I feel like if it's on the inside, it's going to be a little bit more fibbly, fibbly, fiddly. This the whole sticking process is going to be a little bit more fiddly. Okay, and then that. And now this one's sideways. I didn't really want all of the fish. Um, I just wanted the more plain bit, so I cut this one sideways. So also when I was looking at the scrapbooking papers, I looked at what image do I want. Um, and then I made sure I got that, that, you know, what side, which side of the paper did I want when I cut off the strip. This is what I had left over. This is how much I cut off. Um, yeah, that's what I cut off. So we'll have to do stuff with those. I, I really need to use those up. But here we go. Here's another nice big page with sideways fish. Okay, so that's the idea. I'm going to pause the video. Oh, I didn't say hello to everyone. I did say hello, but I didn't ask how, how you all are. How is everyone? I hope you're well. I'm going to move this out of the way um, and put that aside. We'll do that in a minute. We'll do all of the construction in, in a, when I come back with these all prepared. What I'm going to do is actually just get my bone folder and do all of that first. I don't have to stop and start. And I am actually going to go and put all my tape on. And um, and then I will stick them all on. And then I'll decide their order. It doesn't really, it's not, as I said, it doesn't really matter. It's, that's going to be a bit repetitive, isn't it? But it doesn't really matter because it's just for me. So it doesn't have to be perfect. It's actually very relaxing doing this. I could turn on a video and watch someone's video while I did it. And I know we did the little ones already in Roxy's Weekly Challenge, so obviously you can just adapt this to a small one. You wouldn't have to extend your pages. You just have to cut your pages down to size, and it's basically the same thing. But I thought it could be interesting to see how I might decide to put the pockets um, on there as well. Oh, that's all of them. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video, do all the sticking, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. I have um, stuck all my pages down. So we're just gonna have, start to put them in order. So I'm gonna do, I said five signatures of three and I'm just gonna put them together randomly without thinking about it too much. Um, so that can be one. So there's my five signatures. 
A lot of pockets can go on there. Let me just tap you, make sure you're in focus. So this is what it's going to look like, but it's going to have pockets, the clear pockets. Are they? No, they're not clear at the back, are they? But it's going to have the pockets on it. So lots of pages to put things in. Okay, so we won't muck around with that. We'll put those aside. Here's my book with the lovely pink. Oh, it's actually not a bad pink, but anyway. And I just cut out these. Um, these are the peppermint papers that my friend gifted me. Oh, they're just going to make it. Even if they don't, I'll just put a little something down there. I trim them. I've trimmed them too short, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to stick those on. So let's do that. I'm going to grab a bigger piece of paper that I can... Well, actually, no, I'll just glue in the centre. And then I like to use a slightly stronger glue stick, which is this one. Um, and then I'll just go around the edge with um, wet glue just so I don't get glue everywhere. That's the only reason. So just make sure I'm pushing really hard because I like to get a lot of glue on. And I don't want, I want to try and avoid bubbles. I'd like to make two. I may have to actually, because <laughs> I've got a lot of, um, I've got, well not a lot, but I have some scrapbooking paper that's white on the other side. Not that it's really a problem, but I don't think I like want to see that so much so um i may have to go around the corner to my little shop and i haven't been there for a while and see um what new stamperia papers are out and and then i'll combine them again with the tim holtz and i'll do a second one because i'd like to have one for the tags for all my you know my tag um digitals i'd like to have one of these for the tags as well not just the ephemera Oh, there could be one for the ephemera ephemera as well. Yeah, so I could maybe even have three, but then where am I going to put them? I'll have to figure that out because they're very big. I could do some smaller ones. Maybe for the ephemera, you know, my ephemera digital kits, I could um, do a slightly smaller format. So we'll see. Once I've made one, I do get sick of it. So I have to have a break for a bit and then I will make another one. Although then... I may be so excited about organizing the stuff that I can actually see it in an easier way than that I might instantly make another one. So who knows? So again, as I said, down the bottom, I will just put some old antique book paper, I think. Here I'm gonna have some fabric. So let's grab this. love that and my friend gifted me that so I'm very pleased to use some of it and keep it we'll do this one and if this is a time when you might use some of your favorite things to to create it because it's for you like you're not sending it off to someone else so you might have some things that you're hoarding and that you might like to use for this sort of project. The good thing about having a window in front of you is you can see where it's shiny, where the glue is and where it's not, it's not shiny. Um, and because there's no glue there i need to fill this Okay, whoops, and here comes Crooked Rachel instantly. See, normally I w I'm not going to worry about it, it's just for me, it's crooked. But it's, um, normally I would stand up to do something like that because I can see better where I'm doing it, but 
it is actually I'm actually not opposed to that old that bit there so I'm not too concerned okay so my next job then is to um, just put something across there so let me see I have these big pages maybe just a piece let's get my tear ruler and just take that off I don't know what it should reach actually because I'm tearing two it should reach because um, I will be putting fabric there may be a gap who knows and that one will go there okay so let's glue those on I think I've this glue I've used it all let's see oh no a bit more can come up So this is a large ephemera book for your larger ephemera. I'm so pleased with that. I it might, the the small ones came. The idea came. I saw Wendy had done them. Wendy from Wendy's Journal Adventures, and I just love them. And I got to tell you, they're so nice. Just sitting here in a little row in front of me. And it just makes life so much easier than rather than having them in drawers or pouches or that sort of thing. I still keep all my papers in the pouches. Um, no, in, in sort of harder boxes and then some things in pouches. But I think this is great for ephemera and I'm really liking the look of that. So let's choose. Oh, speaking of Wendy, she gifted me some fabric. I'm going to use some of her fabric. Why not? And I might use it on the exterior as well. I've got two here. So let's have it. Oh, aren't they gorgeous? Thank you, Wendy. I think I like that one inside. And I think I'm going to like... I was trying to fold over the mat. Too. Oh, I might like that. I don't know. We'll think about it. But I'm going to have a piece of this on the inside. Looks like it was a sample. Lovely. So what I'm going to do is just put a snip and hope that it tears. The, I, my only issue with this is I'm not going to be able to see very well. I have to use pen. I'm not going to be able to see very well to um, put my holes. I'm going to have it overlap there. Can I put a snip? These scissors don't work so well. They're paper scissors. Or just. And it's going to curl, which is kind of annoying. But I'll glue it down. It'll be glued. Okay. Yay. Using some of Wendy's fabric. Yes, it didn't like being torn, but it'll get over it. I like to have it just overhanging slightly. Let's see if it goes. Oh, it goes better that way. Okay. Lovely vintage fabric. Okay. Take all of those off. And I'm getting low on PVA glue. I may need to get some more. So what I do is I just put it there. And if you can see, I lifted the arm up a bit higher, so in the hope that you could see. And I just eyeball where to put my glue down here. Hopefully I don't drop, dribble glue on myself now that I've moved my book down. I'll move it back up in a second. Because it's overhanging the table I, like my lap, so <laughs> that would not be fun and fresh. I decided not to put any tape. It's just for me. Um, doesn't really need it. It's in fairly good condition. Excuse me. Excuse me, glue. That was very rude. It's empty. So we'll leave it upside down, see if any more comes down. I have another one, but it's not very full either. Now this is the time when I'm going to need a wet one to get all the glue, but I just find it's the easiest way to get it everywhere. Fairly even, evenly is with your finger. And the good thing is it's non-toxic glue because it's even indicated for children to use. It's a school glue. But it glues wood, fabric, everything. It's really good glue. I find most brands here are pretty good. Actually, I did buy the Jotto brand because you know I love their glue stick. 
but um, the non-mushy glue stick. Um, however, I didn't like their PVA as much as I like just this regular one that you buy at the supermarket. And it was a bit um, more watery. This one's much more creamy. Sort of not, not thick, thick, but it's not as runny. Okay. So then, just sort of start to plonk it down. Good, good, good. Then I'll get my wet one and wipe off any bits that I don't want. Pull off your strings, you don't want those. So it's nice and easy. Just run my nail down there where the um, spine is. And I just need to, I'll just use a dry one and then a wet one. There we go to get that glue off. Pretty good. And I do like that and it's very pretty. Okay, I can't find my metal ruler. What have I done with it? I wonder if my husband took it. I need that. I need that for my measuring. Oh dear. I can't measure without it. So I'll have to pause you and go and find it. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I'm back. I have no idea where my ruler's gone. That's making me sad. I'll find it. It's here somewhere in my mess. So I've got this one, it's not quite long enough, which is an issue. So I need to grab, I'll grab a measuring tape. Oh my goodness, I'm feeling hot. Right. Oh, I'm choosing. So if we say, it's 13, oh, it's 13 and, oh, I can't, I don't like that. I can't figure out um, the, the inches if they're not exact. 34, 17 centimetres I need to go to. And then how wide is it? Six. So I need to grab a pen because I won't be able to see it. Let's try this one. Three. Now, I could go crooked. So I'm just going to turn it around. And I need to do... Just a minute. From there. Oh, that's good. From there, I need to do 17. Okay, so there, 17. And then I'll do, I like, then I like to do the next bit, I like to do inches. So then I'll do two and a half inches, I think will be enough. I haven't tried the five hole pamphlet stitch, so I just do the three. It'll be all right. There, is that right? Yep. Okay, and then I'm just going to put an X. That's my center. That's that one, and that's that one. And then I need to do my, I might do them, I'm doing five. So if I were to do, I need to do two on each side. No, so I'm going to do them more. Will I do them one centimeter? No, that's too much. Oh, dear. Oh, they're inches. Yes, one centimetre apart will work. There, and then I'll go to this one. One, and one, and one, and one. And this one, oh, that's a big blob, isn't it? Good thing it's just for me. One, one, one. Okay. And then... I need to do all the measuring on my signatures and I have five of them so that's going to take me a minute. Okay, I usually like to use these clips just a sec. Let's get them out. I 
think I've only got enough for this another one. Enough for four. And what is there's another one there? Okay, let's see how we go. So I just take my pile. I usually have the well actually I think I prefer that one first. Not that it really matters. Oh, even that one. Let's do that one first. You do want to have pleasure when it when you sort of I won't even like that. Let's do that one and then that one last. So I have this is my pile. I flip them over and I start with my last one. Don't ask me why, but I do. I'll take my book out of the way. This can be wonderful. Very excited. So then grab my things. So, and I'm going to measure. Oh, I had to do 17. No, these are 30 centimeters, so I have to do 15. Let's see, oh no, that pencil is hopeless. Let's use this. So, 15 in the, is the center, and then I wish I had my other ruler. I just flipped it over. Got my inches. There and two there. Okay, I'm going to get my mat out. We might punch our holes as we go. Got my Japanese screw punch. I hold my paint. Oops. Shouldn't be too hard. There's it's that thick. Okay, one. How about that? Two. Now the reason why I like the paper clips, I find more than the um the bulldog clips, is that they let the papers. If I want to make sure that they're all pushed into each other, you know where the fold is. You know, it allows for movement. So we're gonna do fifteen. Then two and a half inches, and I don't know. I like to use the inches for that bit because I just like the distance that they create. I guess I could know what that is in um, centimeters and use centimeters, but I just do it with inches. Oh, I think it's there. You can tell when I'm doing something for myself, I'm not too fussed about any eventual boo-boos. So, more or less 15. We have a bit of leeway because these are shorter than the actual book. So, even if they were slightly off center, it really is no big deal. I'd have to be one of the most imprecise people around. <laughs> Ho hum. Oh, I think that's it there. Yeah. This is the fourth one, and I'm going to be running out of the big paper clips, so I'll have to use the bulldog clips. Actually, I could switch out. I'll switch this one out with the bulldog clips once I've cut it, and uh, not cut it, um, you know, punched it, and then I'll use these on the last one. And you can see I didn't stick one or two down very straight. making sure I 
can see my dots. So let me just grab, oh, I crashed into my chair. Grab this. Because you just want, you don't just need them. I just like them because they keep, you know, that way my papers don't move and my holes stay lined up. And then we need to do this one. And I did bring, I think I brought the pockets in. So we'll have a look at the variety of pockets I'm going to use. Okay. Okay, and that's my first signature. So let's put them all back in order because I stitch from the back to the front. So I'll punch my holes here and then we'll get rid of the slippery mat. Oh, I think it's so pretty. Thank you, Wendy, for this gorgeous fabric. I love it. And for the wonderful ideas. And how cute is Arthur, guys? Do you watch Wendy's Journal Adventures? Her gorgeous cute little kitten, Arthur's, I think that's his name, he does come in to say hello in the videos, okay, so, that's good. And now I'm going to grab my needle. I might use, I'm going to use this one. I haven't used this one yet. I have my needle in its little pouch so that way it's easier to find in the tin. I don't cut my thread as you know I just um, thread it and then I think I don't want my strings to be in the center I, I'm going to glue them under whatever I decide to put on the spine so if I can find the hole there it is that's that one so I need to come over here to this one there we go I'm going to come in this way so I tie them on the spine and not inside that way they're not going to get in the way of when I'm putting in the pockets so then I just come down here in that one go through that one is that the correct one no that's the wrong one there it is there it's heavy the book is heavy oh I did the wrong one. Oh my wordy convinced I had it through there now I need to go down here back into the hole where we came out of excuse me for flipping everywhere but and then I need to make sure I'm on the other side of the string okay there and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going where's my other oh goodness put you over there just going to turn it around because I need to pull it tight now and I don't want that much length so I'm just going to pull that and then pull this and it's very floppy because I did take out the the cardstock the curved cardstock because I wanted a flat spine I absolutely did not want 
cardstock. The curved spine is what I wanted to say. So I've tied it on the out. I'm going to cut them short. It's all going to be glued. It's a little bit fiddly doing it that way, but that's how I want to do it. It's not wiggling. That's good. Take those off. It's not upside down. That's also important. Let's see here. This one. So I've got to remember to start from the spine. And I go. There. side of and we just go like this because then you tie your knot over that pull it really tight as tight as you can trim it pull it tight and big they are I may have exaggerated with the size let's just say that I'm actually liking this ready brown Just slide it under there. Okay, that's that. Yep, good. All is good until it's not. this one then we'll start configuring I think the pockets and then next week I will do something on the exterior I think he thinks well actually you could let me know do you want me to do that um I could even go up this way. Will that confuse me? Could. Do you want me to do the cover next week or will we do another thing? I have other ideas for my next um, uh, weekly challenge. So there's no problem. We can move on. Yep, I'll leave it up to you guys to decide. Decorate cover, yes or no. That's That's what we're voting for. It just makes me do it, is really the thing. Like the other ones I haven't quite done yet. I only did some in the video, not all of them. But I'm feeling like I might even just leave those ones. But this one, I definitely want to put something down there. Okay. Take those off. I'm just loving it. It's all a little bit eclectic and and matchy, but not matchy, not quite really going with each. It's, but I, I just like that look. Oh, 
<laughs> Excuse me, guys. Boom. Being a lefty, I think I'll stick with going left. It is just so heavy. I'm going to have to keep it in a really easy spot to get to because it is heavy and it'll be a deterrent to pick it up if I if I don't have it somewhere easy peasy. There we go. Cut that. Put that away. I love having you know having all the you know the necessary equipment near that it's really easy to pull out and put away. this away it just goes on my shelf here nearby and I may have been able to well definitely probably could have added more signatures in this is what it's looking like um, but I feel like you know it will bulk up a bit when we start putting in the pockets I'm not unhappy that that's it it's a little bit shorter but look at this this is fantastic fantastic See, look, I mean, it's not perfect. Oh, no, it's not too bad. I love that you can see the fabric between the signatures and peeking out top and bottom. I probably could have tied it a little bit tighter. But it was very hard with this big book. I like the way, I love the way it's laid out so flat too. I really like that. Lots and lots. I mean, that's going to take me a while to put all the pockets. It's going to take some time. I'll probably put some pockets here as well. So let's have a look at the pockets. Put those over there. I've got these. I haven't even opened them. They just arrived. Two different other sizes I got. This one, I might already have that one. Do I already have that one? Or are they smaller? I think they're smaller. I've got, I've got these and I know I've got my long ones as well. Oh, I have those. Those are good ones too. Okay, so I've got all kinds of different sizes. I have these, I don't know if I have many more of those other ones. No. This one, I think that's the last of that, that type. And then I have these, these are bigger. These are going to be good. And I got a hundred and they weren't expensive. I was really impressed with. So then I have these. I'll put the plastic in the plastic rubbish in a minute. And then I also have the long ones. And I saw one that really maxed out her pages. I've got these long ones. And I've, oh, they're the little labels. Um, Wynette really maxed out her pages when she did it in the sense that she she really configured them in such a way that she could get maximum usage of the page. I probably should go and watch Wynette's video again. I can't remember what video it was. I don't it wasn't the making video. I think she just pulled it out and I saw it and I was like, oh yes. So and oh yeah, this is gonna be the hard part. I kind of need to see this in its actual size so I could fit two of those there two there see I wasn't worried about anything like that lifting or anything like that because um, I'm going to stick things over it so I could have two of those and then I, I saw that one that also put some up sideways so with a sideways one you might have um, you know some things like that and just slide them in that way so I thought that was clever or I could even put these ones and they'd be even more yeah so that's what I need to figure out so I could have two there I probably would put those over there and that there so no yeah so whatever I had in those um, 
they you know they can't fall out so much it's harder to fall out oh this is the same brand so I don't know I need to think about it don't I and then I could have see I've got this size in the smaller ones too I think I could even have three of those three of those and a few of those even but I particularly want to have my big ones I particularly want the big ones so I'm going to peel I'm going to be brave and peel one off and they may not go on exactly straight I've decided to put this over here I'm going to put it over fairly close they are transparent these ones I think they all are aren't they great oh let me tell you the size these ones were are 13 centimeters by nine centimeters or inches five and a quarter inches by about five and a half or five yeah nearly five and three quarters no sorry i can't read yes three and three quarters excuse me so five and a quarter and three and three quarters these ones just to give you an idea of the size i didn't notice that there i'm going to put it down a bit closer to this one and leave more space up here so whatever i put in there is not shooting out the top So I would have those on every page, I think, these ones. Every page that I can, I'm going to go ahead and do that because um, I'll put them always close to the spine, I think. I need to have big pockets. This is me. This is typical, just get in and do it and then maybe have some regrets afterwards. <laughs> I'm not a huge planner. This is, that's the extent of my planning. So let's just stick a couple of these down to see what we think about that. I mean, I don't know that I want too many of these, but I'll put one. How many? I could maybe even fit three on this page. Put one there. Or maybe I could have put another one there. I want maximum real estate. And then maybe I'll have just a little one in case there's something small. You always make sure you put them in um, top side, open at the top. There we go. So that's got maximum pockets on it. Look at that. I don't know if you can see, I've got, let's put something in it. Um, I'll just cut up this. So we have. This is what it was stuck on. We have, I'm just gonna put these in so you can see. We've got one pocket here. We've got a pocket here, obviously for something smaller than that. We've got two side tuck pockets here. Can you see that? And a pocket here. I think that's going to be good. But I'm, I may configure them differently. So that one, for example, might be better down there. Okay, so done that one so we've got um, as I empty out these I'm gonna put they don't fit there but they do fit sideways but I do have a lot of these ones as well so I think I'll continue with these because I like those but I'm gonna put them up here instead because I feel like that's better because then if I have something taller in the other pocket then that will work better Yeah, I didn't tie them in tight enough, but I'm, I will be gluing, so maybe I'll give them a tug when I'm gluing. 
and um, that one, I'm lucky I realised that one needs to turn around and I'll put that down there for something little. Okay, so. Let's see. We'll just play with a few different um, organising and then, so I could have, I could have two like that. Also is an idea and I could have three of those and they will overlap do I want to do that I don't know what about I'm gonna do because sometimes you have bigger things I'm gonna do one here put it over as far as possible and then I'm going to have I also bought these ones, so I need to be able to use these ones. I'm going to put that one there. This one here. I'll put papers in so you can see it in a minute. And then I'm going to have two more. And that's going to be a good one, I think. I'm so excited about this, guys. This is very exciting. So I'll leave that. I think that's open. Make sure they're open. Put that one there. And this one. Yeah. Now afterwards, when I'm putting my things in, if I wanted to, I could come back here and put in another one if I want to. If I feel like I need something else, I can come back and put another one in. And you'd be surprised how many of these you actually use. So we've got, I'm going to put things in so I can see really easily which configurations I really like. So obviously you can have something shooting up that way. So those are like that. And then here we have, I'll cut, well I actually don't even need to cut, just say I had a, something big. See, that would go in there. But I could easily put another pocket behind it, so I'm gonna decide that. I like that configuration, I'll do another one of those. And when I find the combinations that I really like, I'll just repeat them multiple times. So there, and then four of these we need. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. The book, I've put the arm up as high as I possibly can, I think. I don't think I could pull it up any higher. Um, so hopefully you can see what's going on. I can even keep this down a bit closer to the one below. There. And so when I've yeah, when I've done a few pages, I might start putting things in and see yeah, how I feel about it. Did I say that? Sorry if I said it again. So just to give you an idea like that, that, that. That one's great too. It's got lots of pockets on it. Um, what else can we do? I do always need these because these ones, what I can do is just cut this out now that I've peeled two off and just, I can play around with. So I could have one there. What about if I put one there? And then maybe one of these for something little. 
because you sometimes do have little things and then I could have one or two of those oh I like this one too let's do this okay so one here keep those one up here sideways and I'll put it over as far as I dare so I'll put it up as high as I dare as well there wobbly signatures that's annoying put this one make sure the opening is at the top here kind of centered and then I'm going to have at least one of these not I'm going to put it down here first actually I can come down lower I'm going to have one here oh yes I like that and we'll put papers in so we can see those so yeah maybe you can screenshot if you want to do a similar sort of thing oh 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 nearly went off the edge of the page look at that I couldn't tell but it's all right it's all right okay and then a little mini one or I could put one of these maybe I'll put that one not a mini I'm going to put one of those sideways because these are bigger okay good okay so now put it as close to that one as I can let's do put our papers in I'm keeping those two so I can get my ideas so we've got a pocket here put something in like that we have a pocket here we have a pocket here it's hard to see them because they're so transparent we have one there oh I love this configuration too this is so much fun I think if I were to do them all the same it would become monotonous for me but this is really good and then we have trim it down so it fits we have a big pocket here oh nope like this I was so enamored when I saw Monette's I know I keep saying it but I really was I hadn't thought to do it for big things and we've got one there look at that this one was the same as the other one so how about that that's a good one I have to repeat that one too right there is nothing there maybe on this one i might put another pocket let's just try it just so just say let me find something bigger and not everything's going to fit so that's why i do want to put in um oh those long ones aren't that even that long but see i have things like this so obviously you're going to have to trim them down or perfectly or not whatever you think does that fit in there yes it does but I may put have to put like multiple items in but I might have something even longer to go in that type let's just see I do have some bigger things I'm just now is that one's not going to fit for example so I'm gonna to have to see if I can find something even longer for those but this is the sort of stuff that I want to tidy up so just say we wanted to put this one in put in there a longer one I could have if I were to have another little pocket there I could have that it, it is kind of worthwhile putting one there isn't it hmm. 
Anyway, I can come back and visit that idea afterwards. So I'll just leave those in there. There's a pocket there as well. I'll put that in there. Yeah, that's how it's going to work. So um, let's see if I can come up. I don't know if I can come up with a different one, but we'll have a look. So I'll just throw out all that mess. I think always big ones. You have to always have the big ones on the page. So I could have two going that way. And then four, what about four going up that way? I could do that. Yeah, I'll do one page like that, why not? I might not do a lot of pages like that, but I will do some. Obviously I'm facing it out this way so that if I um, have anything that's gonna shoot out, it's not gonna bend. I could leave a gap, then I'm putting too many things, I think. That's there. And then we're going to have these. Like, are they wider? No, no, they're not wider. And these are deeper, so they hold on to things. I've only got 50 of those. I think I got 100 of these. I can't remember what the quantities were. So I put these further over towards the edge and I was going to put four. Do I want four? Do I maybe three is better? Four? Well this one I'll do four. On the other page I'll do three. Just you know because it can look crowded. And if I run out of these I will order more. I need to keep them down a bit lower. Okay, so let's put some things in there. I'm just trimming them down because these are obviously bigger than the pockets. So I've got one there. And I might not necessarily have, I might have the things, you know, shooting up this way, depends. I'm also putting papers in each different configuration so that way um, if I'm thinking I want to repeat one I can see it really quickly when I um, turn the pages so that's that and then I see those go that way Put these in. there and there it's important that you can see a little peekaboo of what you're putting in the pockets so I'll have this one going this way, as straight as I can possibly manage. And again, of course, you know, I'm trying to think as much as possible is to maximize my page, but I am only going to put three of these down here. So one. I'm going to put the one at the top because I don't want it to be too high up because I don't want to have my things peeking too far out the top so I think I'll have that one coming further down whereas on this page I put smaller things in so that one's there I like the quality of this plastic too it's not that this is more sticky this is the more the plastic that's easier to slide things in and out of there we go, so I like that configuration as well. So let's just put some things in there so you can see and I can see. So we can have tall thing there, smaller thing here. of course not all things are rectangles and then I might have a long thing in there see what I mean it's the sticky one I know you, you've all told me to put in um, I'll cut this a bit shorter so that way I can see there better um, put in talcum powder but 
Yeah, I have to go and buy some. I keep forgetting. Put those over there. Okay, so that let's just recap. We have this. It's a good one. I could have put one of the bigger pockets there. I probably should have done that. Yeah, I could have had a wider pocket. Got this. I probably will end up putting another pocket there. This one. This is a good one. What do I do there? Oh, them going in different directions. I like that. So I might repeat that one next. Okay, so I'm going to do that one again. So this one. So one. That way. This is the page. One that way. Let's put this in here so I can get to the page faster. Oh, one, one of my bits flew out. One that way. I had a skinny one in between, so I put this up as high as possible. There. Just make sure you know where it opens. Put that in the middle. Then I had one, two of those. I'll probably run out. I'll need to buy some more. One, two of those. So I'll put, I'll put one down here. That's what I did. Down there. And I'm not going to try and keep my kits together, if you know what I mean. I think that would really make it hard because you may not have the kits sort of working in with the size of the pockets if you know so you'd have to have your kit out and put the size of the pocket according to the kit does that make sense oh that one i'm going to face that way because i don't want to ever have them facing except for those long ones those ones on the edge over here i don't want them facing um into the thing i really like that one okay so we repeated that one we'll do some repeats I also like that one. Oh, that's those ones. I just did those. Oh, that piece fell out of there. Just so I can see quickly. I might repeat the first one. So I had one, two, and okay. I can do that. Is that what I did? Yes. And then I want to see if I can fit one of these. Can I fit that? Oh, it doesn't fit. That's why I put the little one on. Okay, I'll put the little one there. Oh, just. They can actually overlap a little bit. It doesn't really matter. That's there, and then I need two of these. So I have one, I'll put this one up here first. Always make sure you've got your opening on the correct side. It's a bit crooked. Yes, I thought I did. I got, I had a, got a fright for a minute that I hadn't put it on the right side. And that one goes there. Now you could put another one of those there, but it, it is going to be covered by that when you put whatever in that pocket. Gosh, so many pages. I think it can fit a lot of stuff in here. Right, so that gives you an idea of what I'm doing, what I'm planning on doing. It's going to be super duper. And um, I will go ahead and finish that. And then you let me know if next week you would like me to see, see me decorate the cover or not. And otherwise, I'll just do it off camera and show you um, afterwards. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you have a nice big book that you can use to make one. It doesn't have to be this book. I kind of exaggerated. Um, but I will be able to fit a lot of stuff in, I think. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful Friday. And I will see you again soon. Bye. Back. Just quickly before I let you go. Um, I continued on putting some uh, pockets and ephemera in this. I haven't finished putting all of the pockets in yet. 
But what I found was it was actually, I said I wasn't going to do that, um, but it was actually better to have your kits. I've divided them into types. I've got postcards and then I have little pockets, obviously, because you've got to fill in the gaps on your page. So there's random things in those. Um, but I divided them into uh, postcards. I've got Italian, French, and then the Victorian sort of ones. I can't think of what else I might have. And I actually um, had all the printable things out and I actually um, put the pockets on according to uh, the, um, see I've got my Victorian here. I put these pockets down according to what I wanted to put into them. So um, I think that might be a better way to do it if you have a lot of digitals of other, you know, your own digitals or other people's digitals. I'm gonna be looking for something bigger to keep those in. Um, but yes, I did, I just wanted to come back and say that. Um, just in case you're going to stick your pockets in for next week and then um, they're not working for you. So there was one page, let me find it. Um, see, I have put a lot in here. There's still more to go in, but I've got a page. Oh, it's on my um, Italian section um, here. This page, all little pockets because it's all little ephemera. So that's what I mean. Like, I think put your pockets in according to what you need to put in them. So there we go. So I'm really going now and I will be back next week. Bye.